Do you know what is by far the dirtiest job on the server? <laughs> dirty beats. No, dirty deeds. Yes, indeed. Um, well, I tried to make something that rhymes, but I failed. Well, dirty deeds, none dirt cheap. Guys, um, this is a shop, a cup opened a while back. Um, Concorp shop, and it sells all kinds of good stuff. Doc Ross needs. Because I'm Doc Ross, I turned into Doc Ross over the past couple of weeks, building scenery. And I did a lot, and I will show you today. Um, so I needed all of these materials pretty much, and I will need more of them in the course of building our stuff. And my god, this shop is evil. So what it does, for every stack or so of things you buy, you will get a dirty deed eject ejected back there. And I will show you my collection of dirty deeds uh, so far. And yeah, the thing is, they come with, uh, yeah, we need to do them. You need to do them at some point. And I collected a lot by now, and it will be more. And uh, we will have to do an episode, which will be called the Dirty Deeds episode, where we pretty much go around and fulfill all this Dirty Deeds. Because, my God, they are evil. It's small little pranky things, trolly things. I look actually forward to do this episode. But it's uh, getting a... Quite a bit. I think we're up to 8, 9 or something by now and there will probably be quite a bit more. <laughs> so I'm obsessing over the nether project here at the moment. Um, and yeah, I... whoops, here. Um, the stream um, um, is giving me the title, the honorary title of Doc Ross because it's literally um, my new lifestyle. <laughs> so let's come down here behind my blast shield. We only save space down here still. Let's have a look. Is there a guest? No, we're cool. So here is the dirty deeds chest. How many do we have? One, okay. Place 10 signs that say lol. Change a painting somewhere. Build a chair in someone's base. Throw 16 at at so eggs at someone's base. Remove an ender chest from a base. Stalk someone, say lol good one in chat randomly, shoot someone with an arrow. <sighs> and I expect way more to come. So you can look forward to this episode. We're gonna stalk the heck out of other hermits, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh. So yeah, here it is. We have completed the whole right side of the piston bolt, right? Today we're gonna build the fastest uh, minecart elevator in existence to accompany this whole thing because I need a break from Bob Rossin. I need some good old Doc, Doc Rossin, Doc Redstone and do some piston stuff. <laughs> so anyways, you saw these bits here already, right? Um, the transition into the taiga with falls and false symmetry, which is by now or still the cutest thing I've ever made in Minecraft with her marshmallow and campfire, right? And then the next scene we were transitioning into dense forest and as you can see leaf wise you know to get some of color we use different leaves we use the same ones as we did here just to get a nice transition and it looks really good we have the mushroom there um, and then yeah we have the crazy mind of the stream chat here in in play um so this is joe sitting on a mushroom making a reference to alice in wonderland okay i you know, these guests, sorry. Music, sound, uh, hostile creatures, off. Be quiet now, okay? But don't spawn on me when I'm building here. Please, and explaining. <laughs> so, Joe, uh, as a reference to Alice in Wonderland, sitting on the mushroom with his hookah. Um, uh, here's the handle of the hookah. He has a lighter in his hand as well. And then we made the cat. We made the crazy cat. Um... We came into possession of a cat head purely randomly. Nothing to do with us killing cats or anything like that. And then uh, we trapped a sheep, a Jap sheep, in this in a boat here. And yeah, now it's Trippy Cat <laughs> being, being part of Alice in Wonderland. I don't know how to... And then, you know, as Joe and um, Zombie Cleo are good friends, 
zombie needed to be in the scene too. Then people said, well, it's a forest. There's witches in the forest and we're in fairy tale land anyways. So, yeah. So this zombie Cleo stirring the pot. This is some... <laughs> Oh man! So this is uh, some cauldron, right? And she's uh, brewing up some, some st stew in there, and she's there with Joe, zombie witch. The cool thing is, is the, the the wolf over there is completely tripping because we got trippy sheep now here, which, by the way, has his head backwards. Um, that's the tail of the cat. It's not a sheep head head at all. So since that <laughs> wolf became aggro and is staring over there. Um, so yeah, there lives a happy little trippy cat in, <laughs> in this forest, <laughs> all right? And then, um, you know, we got some of the big mushrooms, right? And we transition into, yes, indeed, the NHO jungle. <laughs> oh. So finished this one yesterday. So transitioning into the jungle. Um, for this one, we used uh, birch leaves, and I think it works out well here. If you get a nice lush green. We could cover the grass for the most bits, so yeah, it really looks nice. It looks like a jungle, and we got a little NHO scene in there, and even parrots. <laughs> so there is B-double-O sitting on the shore in the NHO jungle and fishing, and he caught himself a little Nemo. That's the original Nemo we also once caught and died in mysterious circumstances. Then we got the little tree monkey, Beef. <laughs> Beef. He's climbing up this tree here. I think he's trying to get some sweet, sweet, delicious cocoa beans up there. And we got uh, the Iso himself sitting in the eye of the NHO skull, which we kind of replicated here in a little bit more cute fashion. Scaled down, of course. If you've seen the season where I built this skull base in the, in the woods, that looked really cool. And of course, this thing doesn't look as scary. But um, it looks cute and that fits with the theme here. I'm now paranoid, turning around and trying to see if there's a guest. So he's sitting there and Ether does what Ether does, trying to drop an anvil on people below him. <laughs> now we got the two parrots in there. We had a blue one, a dark blue one and a red one too, but they just vanished in front of our eyes. Um, I'm not making this up. People saw it on stream. I had them, looking at them, boom, vanished. I'm not making this up. Relogging and everything didn't fix it. They were gone. So maybe there's one chicken chockey riding around on a, on a parrot now. So anyways, this is what we have going on. Doc rossing it out here all the way. And yeah, work will continue. Savannah, we're going this way now. The Savannah and Mesa, which will be quite interesting. Savannah, um, that will be... A nice challenge because uh, we gotta simulate some openness and build some nice trees. It's good stuff, man. I'm enjoying myself way too much being Doc Ross all of a sudden. But hey, there it is. That's Minecraft for you. You always find new inspiration. And I kind of always wanted to do something like that. Like have a really cool scenery along a piston, right? But I knew it's gonna be a lot of work if you really do it proper. And this took me forever. This is one of the most meticulous, longest lasting projects I've done in the Hermitcraft history for myself. Um, the jungle yesterday, sure we didn't work fully efficient on it, but it took several hours as well, the, only the jungle bit. So there's at least, I don't know, 30, 40 hours of work in this um, actual placing blocks and going back and forth. It's good, t takes a lot of time, but it's so worth it. Um, and why? Because I say so. So um, now we want to work on an elevator. We yeah, last time already scoped that out a little bit and uh, once again had a hard time to get an additional episode done this week because yeah, I'm actually going away uh, soon for a small amount of time, literally 10 days. I'm going on my first vacation in one and a half years again, finally, and it's a small one. Just you know, visiting some good friends out in Spain. And um, it's going to be away from April the 6th until April 17th or so. In the meantime, I think I'll have a few videos prepared for you. So, you know, the channel's not dead. I'm here. But, yeah, I needed to focus and sort that out too. And, you know, and I can feel it. I need a little break, finally. Um, definitely um, not, you know feeling stressed out or um, really physically exhausted also. Okay, we drop best is is 
if we drop down a block later yeah physically exhausted or anything but um i feel um it's uh, i'm tired all the time very tired and that is always the case let's get some fire resist and then we can start digging up there there's always the case when i am yeah nearing the point where i need a break um i'm just I normally th that's how the you know the the exhaustion shows i i literally have then days where i can could theoretically f sleep 24 7 and I'm very tired and that doesn't go away so yeah um, when that point is reached i always know it's time to take a break but not today Today we're gonna make some fire resistance potions and we're gonna dig a hole through the nether and build the fastest piston elevator out there. Oh yeah! Well, well, first things first. So before we can transition into upwards, and it seems I got lucky, as you can see here is the concrete outer wall and there's not much in between. I need to do some more digging up there, but looks like we will reach the ceiling quite easily and then can build a nice uh, decorative uh, thing around the elevator but yeah we need a transition out of a diagonal piston bolt so you can see the tracks are coming along here and pretty much there would be solid blocks and piston behind it and they always push forward and eventually you know when we reach the end part this block will be pushed to here uh, by a piston that extends right that's just how it works and that would scoot us on so that means what we can do is the following. We can have um, right here um, a redstone block right away and then have power track on there. Because, yeah, this is just how, how things work, right? We will come along here with the minecart, get inched over here as the, for the last bit, and then this piston block um, comes in here, becomes a solid block behind uh, where the minecart sits, and then accelerates it on. And then pretty much here, what we want to do is we want to have a detector rail. And the detector rail is going to be used for detecting uh, when to trigger our elevator here. And yeah, now um, I don't want to have a long transition. That means, did I uh, bring some non-sticky blocks? No, I didn't. But we want to have the slime block with the piston sitting right there. Um, where the minecart would land on, right? We want to drop down into it to be sure we sit in there properly, just like that. So here we put a, a non-movable block and put our detection right there. Now let's see, redstone-wise, is there an easy way for us to pull this out? Yeah, we can pull it here to the side and hide it nicely because we need a, a bit of delay, you know, to make sure the minecart sits in the position um, properly and then the launching can start. So let me get a few non-sticky blocks and um, I think we go on a little shopping up there in the Concorp Glaze Terracotta shop and see if we can snatch a few blocks there because we're gonna need quite a bunch on our way up and hopefully we can find one that doesn't look too freaking ugly because yeah the glaze terracotta man that is one of the textures i have high hopes for i work over still um for the new textures that are yeah constantly being added because uh, let's face it man these blocks none of them actually likes good as you know that's what i think about them maybe i'll change my mind <laughs> but yeah, those are not beautiful blocks. That's uh, for shizzle. Okay, so let's quickly head head over to the to the glazed terracotta shop and look at it real quick. But honestly, <laughs> there will be no good choice. Uh, I have quite a lot of obsidian, but you never know. I might need that for something else, where I need blast resistance on top of non-stickiness. So yeah, I, I guess um, yeah, we use some of those guys here. So wait. Where was the glazed terracotta? Ah, it's a one one shop further. I was like, no, did they close? Here it is. So, man, look. <sighs> Maybe those. Whoop. Those could be an a thing. Hmm. Red and nah, the red and. Boy, oh boy, they're so ugly. I think I will go for these here and then go for a grayish design in the elevator itself also. But uh, there it is. 
not much saving for that. How much do they? Two diamonds per stack. One. Okay, let's go for two stacks for now. Um, man, why do I have all this trash in my inventory? You go away. Okay. Um, well, so be it. So back to work. Let's start to construct the launching mechanism. Turn on the gas sounds again. Okay, we can turn him, <laughs> turn him off while we work down here. I think we should be relatively safe. So um, yeah, timing is everything with elevator designs. And for this one here, um, yeah, timing is crucial. So we want to use a um, repeater on the third setting here and then two repeaters going outbound. And the fancy thing about this elevator is that it actually uses um, zero ticking for the pistons. That makes it insanely fast, 17.5 blocks per second. Um, and um, that is, of course, an advantage over other elevators, quite considerably more fast. Um, it's based on the idea that a block 36 cannot suffocate you and therefore we can move players up faster. This design was shown quite a while back by El Mango and I don't think it ever really caught on as a popular elevator design, but I think this is one of the best actually. Um, so yeah, let's do a test here. So my idea is as we would roll in with the minecart and then fall into this hole here, um, here could also be another block and yeah we need a little bit of delay I don't think we need a whole lot but um, you know just a little bit so here we can we can grab the signal from the detector track right and then we would come around and here we would push a sticky piston um, holding um, yeah I think that should be good enough to send a, a signal in there. Um, yeah, I think the length is not so important. It should be long enough um, extended here. So let's go ahead and just give it a test. We might have to adjust this delay a little bit, but we will see. So sticky piston here, right? And then we put a redstone block here. And then if we trigger the, this tra track, um, this thing will push over and trigger the whole chain of events here. So I guess we will just power in here. So to come come down here we could do this and then we could do this and then pretty much have another bit of delay here. Hopefully that is enough now. Um, if we go that long probably for sure is actually I think okay let's give it a test ride is there a zombie pigman in my <laughs> in my building site how go away they are everywhere man I if I place a minecart now he will snatch it wait for it Okay, looks like we got we got decent timing here. We made it in and then it launched. Um, we might have to uh, make it a little bit longer. I'm gonna build the first segment of um, the yeah, zero tick based elevation bits upwards and then um, we'll see. So, and I have this problem now with this guy. Get him out of the minecart without hurting him and um, yeah, rallying the troops. But well, we can also unload the area. Okay, let me add one segment here and then we can give it a test if uh, we make it. If not, we might have to uh, increase the delay here slightly. We have some, some leeway. It, it looked very c close already. I might give it a, uh, two more settings here for more takes. Okay, so yeah, let me, let me set that up. Well, we have our test sub subject still in there. Um, but yeah, I built the first segment, so I guess we launch this guy up and see if he gets probably la properly launched. Yeah, that looked good. Stayed in line, didn't get pushed out, didn't take no suffocation damage. Yeah, I think that looked good. So as you can see, um, there is the zero tick technology involved in here. Zero ticking in Minecraft just means you are able to push out blocks, you know, 
within the same tick they get activated pretty much Pong, right and if that happens the entity um, that is next to these blocks is inside the blocks but as it is block 36 that is the way stuff gets moved in Minecraft if a piston moves something it first gets turned into block 36 and then back into the block and a block 36 has actually no collision box no hitbox it doesn't damage you and when we look from the side let's see yeah, you could see that yeah the pistons were inside um, the pigment and then actually pushing it up but it also looks like it's taking damage it shouldn't though see that will it die eventually I could see it take a damage it turned red but it could also I mean uh, normally it shouldn't but I think yeah we are good here timing wise So I guess um, I add, add a few more segments and um, we just try it out to get a quick look on it. So um, it's a bit cramped as usual when you build elevators in survival. But um, what happens here pretty much is, so here we send up the signal into this observer and that pushes the pis piston over. And then the signal gets transferred upwards here a little bit via some redstone staircase and yeah then we have uh, the triggered piston sitting here under the immovable block obsidian waiting and then if this thing triggers um, yeah it, it triggers the the um, one tick pulse here right away via the setup below and yeah then we have some rail on top there send the signal over to this one and um, yeah that's the way how this works and we need to repeat this pattern whoops we just looked at for I don't know how many times until we are up and yeah I want to add one more pattern here and then write it myself I'm curious now why did the pigman it looked like it took damage I want to write it myself man get out of there guy Okay, we got to we got to get a minecart and we got to unload the area and get this guy out of here. Uh, on the other hand, it's nice to have an entity in there for testing. So I'll add another segment and um, hopefully all is fine. Okay, I added a few segments now. Let's give it a test run. Beautiful. This guy must be sick by now, uh, sick in his stomach from all the <laughs> from all the elevator riding. But this is looking beautiful, very fast, straight up, no problems. Nice, I like it. Let's have a quick peek here on top, how it looks. Um, okay, yeah, here we are. Wow, I made it right up to here, my building pillar. That was the lu most lucky shot ever. Um, here there you can see it it's evolving it's coming up from down there to here right now and here you can see the side profile of it um, looking good so yeah we have a bit more to go it's not that tall I think is that up there the ceiling already let's try to end the pearl up there <laughs> Now I just, you know, disproved my enderpearl skills again. Now you could clearly see that was a lucky shot. Let's try one more time. Uh, yeah, we can. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. I might have to fly up there. Let's see. Let's see if we can take off. Come on. There's a guest. But there's the hub right in front of us yeah it's really not that far to go anymore and then we piston bolt this way oh, guest don't see me please oh my god so before we do anything up here though piston bolt wise we need to have glass and have the thing safe this is otherwise this is hell oh god you can see it patrolling over there already it trips me out okay but yeah not too far to go a few more segments to add Oh, 
he's starting to blow up the ceiling. Thank God that stuff is blast proof. Yep, I told you. Had the gas sounds out, man. It was so trippy. You could just hear the explosions. Okay, so I guess um, I add a few segments and we make our way all the way up. Ain't that far. Okay, I think we have a high enough tower now um, that should yeah, lead all the way up. Let's give it a test run. I have the minecart on me and now we can ride it ourselves. And then you can also see the effect. See the pistons? Oh. Wait a minute. I feel yeah, we I think some some transition is missing. I must have screwed something up there. Didn't think we made it all the way up. Not everything triggered. Let's go investigate. And let's go there. So I think we somehow somewhere have a little bit of a flaw in the system. Let's see. I think the last two segments didn't trigger there. I must have some track missing or something is missing. Let's see. Further up. Um, this all out. Okay. This. Wait a second. So here. There we go. <coughs> that is, I think that was the flaw. The thing was on the wrong delay. Yep, that should include the last segment there now, hopefully. Let's quickly double check in here, made the same mistake. Yeah. Now let's check and there it's the two tick, right? Yep. Yeah, that was the mistake. The repeater wasn't able to read that out properly. Thankfully, the stir design is very robust and it doesn't break randomly like that. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, okay. That looked very good. We made it easily all the way up. Nice. Let's test it with with the um, rail delay here. If that works f works fine. How much do we have here now? One tick. Yeah, one. I got one gas shot in here that blew up some track. But other than that, we got we got lucky. Yep. I even. I think I'm going even too high for one segment there. But that's all right. We can remove that. Yeah, then um, next up um, we start, we will make the transition upstairs and for the time being I think I should have some sort of at least basic protective shield here um, in case we get more gas while we work down here. And yeah, obviously also here and now as we were spending a lot of time down, down here we can see these vines growing like crazy. I mean, as you know from the stock exchange, I have nothing against a, a nice luscious bush, <laughs> but you know, if it gets a bit too overhand here with the vines, um, we need to control that. And I already started it when we initially planted the vines, but you can never 100% predict that. And yeah, I was using a string to kind of um, you know prevent vine growth all over the place, but uh, I think it's it's coming. It's coming along. We just need to make sure it doesn't get out of out of control. We this is a jungle, so we want some vineage. For example, here I'm. Bl I think I blocked it successfully. You can see the string in there. There's quite a lot actually. Here, probably want to protect this gap here too. Here, here, here. Cannot really spread. Let's make sure we cover most of that. Okay, I don't want to, you know, I for, sh for sure don't want to spread it uh, over to here. That would be terrible. Like, for example, this one here, it can grow is exactly this long, but not any longer. So what we want is some string in the mix here, preventing things from happening. You can't grow over there. It's like this one here. 
I think it's fine this length. Okay, we gotta gotta get some helper blocks in there. <coughs> so over the time we're working on here, I need to do some some proper bush trimming um, or bush control. It's like that. And this I want definitely only want to be up there. Why did it grow out here? I had string there, but I guess not properly. Okay, but other than that, I don't think it really went out of control yet. Um, so we will see, but I'll observe it for, for some more time. But I think we did good good leaf control here, or good vine control. This one here, what is with you? Well, you should be good, you shouldn't be able to grow. Okay, um, so that uh, concludes this. And of course, guys, um, as you know, I'm still wearing the Dr. Doxon skin. Um, the investigation continued and yeah me and Ren went ahead and interrogated stress monster a bit and I can tell you it was a full success for my laughing muscles <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's watch this in the end and I tell you I probably never laughed so much or rarely laughed so much during a recording session <laughs> so don't miss it don't miss the next episode. Keep your eyes out on the Twitter, on the streams. Things are happening. You know, we need to do some more dog rossing here. And we were, yeah, we had glorious streams doing that. Um, singing along and music wishes. And it was glorious. Anyways, um, that's the super fast piston elevator for you installed. Just need to do the other side here. Then spawn proof all of this. Uh, change the ceiling. Build a better elevator shaft. Build another piston bolt leading back to the hub. Yeah. We got our work cut out here. Um, but I'm loving this project. I'm having a lot of fun. Because yeah, it challenges all kinds of things uh, in Minecraft building. And redstoning. But yeah, now without further ado. <laughs> Scooby-Doo and Dr. Doxon investigating. See you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> Dr. Doxin. <laughs> What's up? Sir. What are you looking at? I've got my inspective glasses on right now. Are you staring in the sun directly? Things are about to get serious, Doxin. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Splendid. Yeah. That's better. I, I mean, that's better. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the accent, man. Okay, seriously. So, Doc, hmm? Sherlock Green seems to think that we're sniffing up the wrong tree, my dude. Mm -hmm. Can you say that? Don't you say barking up the wrong tree? Um, don't correct my English, <laughs> Doc. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, right. Um, so we're pretty sure it was stress that is the jangler slash cookie monster jangler creature. Yes. And we need to have a chat with her. We, we've summoned her, haven't we, Doxon? Yes. Yes. Hello, Stress. Yes. <laughs> I Hello. see you down he there. Hello. <laughs> Where? No, me? Not me. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I, I did wonder what this great thing in my sky was, to be honest. Oh. And then you two just come flying um, up a bit. Don't right. play innocent wondering right. what it is. You know exactly what it is. Yes. Don't you? Me thinks she doth protest too much, Doxin. <laughs> what are you both wearing? What? Um, Stress Monster. <laughs> yes, new My friend dog friend. that I've not seen. <laughs> um, before. that's Renson. Renson. And Doxin. Doctor okay. Renson, PhD. Doctor Doxin, please. Right. So, uh, this giant cookie yeah. over here, okay? Yeah. We're, we're, we're pretty sure this is you for a number of reasons. J just <laughs> to get you caught up on what's happening. Our diamonds yeah, got I'm, stolen I'm, during the war. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. yes. Then we found a chest outside the stock exchange that said jangled on it. <laughs> then we found yeah. a whole bunch of cookies. And then right. th it led us to that giant cookie in the sky. Cookie monster, stress monster. <laughs> That's my deduction. There was a Doctor. poem saying, what? you know, so 
It's cool. Yeah. I mean, I have no problem. The diamonds are back. Don't I, you worry. I don't want nothing from you. Just confess okay. and we are cool. If you brought them back, <laughs> everything is... This is, a, you know, like <laughs> a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. You confess <laughs> and why would you I, shall why, be no, allowed to no, have repent, all the cookies that thou wish. Listen, right, now listen, listen, listen. Uh, right, right. If mm. I was this whoever jangler cookie monster stress thing... Why would I build it up there so close to my base? Um. Why would I do that? You think I'm stupid? Nope. Oh, uh, <laughs> Doc said, I, I had not considered Back that off. possibility. You know, I, you know, the thing is, you know, didn't you get enough by, Ooh. by mercilessly killing us during the war? Was that not enough for you? You want to embarrass I did. Oh, us yeah, now? I did. <laughs> I didn't kill you both. I'm like, oops, yeah, maybe I did. That was good though, right? You have to admit, that, that um, was good. Yeah. Yeah, but wasn't it good <laughs> enough for you? You want to embarrass us like that with with a cookie chase, <laughs> yeah. stealing the diamonds on top? All right, come on now. I did not steal your stupid okay. diamonds, and that is not my stupid cookie. You're barking up the wrong tree or sniffing up it, like you said. <laughs> Probably wasn't listening. <laughs> um. Uh, Doxin, well, I must say, looking around the place, I, I don't see many clues <laughs> that leads to... Oh, wait! I ha... Doxin, I've had an epiphany! What? Great monster. Uh-huh. Reveal what you are currently eating on the Hermitcraft server right now. Yes. Toss it out. Um... Toss it. Toss it! <laughs> Toss it. Um... <laughs> or um... we shall destroy you with intellect. Um... <laughs> there. Stop. Examine the carrot. It's an ordinary I... carrot. It's not a cookie. Is it made of biscuits? Nope. <laughs> it stacks. <laughs> it's a normal oh. carrot, man. Was, was you hoping I was eating cookies? Well, that would have been a clear giveaway, surely. I mean, it's yeah. elementary like, here. Like, like what Doc has in his hand. Well, um, like that thing. Yeah, no? that's called evidence. Yeah. Evidence, uh, Doxen, evidence. Let's yes. get out of here, dude. The, yeah, the, um... This is going nowhere. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, we've, de gone. we've definitely get slipped up the wrong tree. Get don't away, don't, don't run you. from her. She might lead us in a trap. What? <laughs> Doxen! <laughs> I've what? been murdered. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I was sure I was gonna miss. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> To be honest, that couldn't have gotten gone any better. <laughs> I can't breathe. I'll Can you pick up stuff. my stuff while you're hyperventilating? <laughs> <laughs>